What of us? This is it, then? Nonsense. There will always be an us. We'll just be farther apart for a time. Now, now, don't pout. They'll put that expression on a statue, and then you'll be sorry. You think this is funny? Nothing about this is funny. I am sorry, for what it's worth. I know it was complicated, but I'm sorry about your father. Thank you. It still doesn't feel real. I wish you safe travels and the best of luck. Oh, I'll need it, thank you. Magisters are tricksy bastards. A present. A going away present. It's a sending crystal. Amazing what friendship with the Inquisition gives you access to. If I get in over my head, or you're overwhelmed with sorrow for lack of my velvety voice... Magic. What? You didn't think I would just leave and you'd never hear from me again, did you? You are the man I love, Amatus. Nothing will truly keep us apart. Now let's finish the good wine before the others get back. Will you walk with me? The first time I came to the Winter Palace, I was only 18. I was dazzled. Such rich hangings, splendid marble columns, more golden lions than I could count. It's all still here, still bright, but I no longer see that same palace. And that makes you sad. It is easier on the heart to just see gilding. Now all I see are hands rub raw to make gold gleam, tears shed in the night over silk embroidery. Others overlook them and forget their pain, but I am divine and I cannot be blind. They seek to tear the Inquisition down. You feel it, no? Fear. Have we not made enough allies? If friends were easily made and kept, we wouldn't need diplomacy. Our allies can be cordial to our faces and still dread the future. They are afraid of nothing so much as the hand that directs it all. Mine. Already your actions have begun to reshape Thedas. Your influence is felt everywhere. It was only a matter of time before they moved. I'm surprised it took this long. The Inquisition's time is coming to an end. Is that the decree of Her Perfection Divine Victoria? That the Inquisition be dissolved? As Divine, it is my duty to think of Thedas and all our peoples. We set out to restore peace. And now, peace is upon us. Some things can only be accomplished in shadow, without the trappings of power and the attention they bring. But whatever you decide, I will be honored to stand beside you. Yes, thank you. must be here.
Good day to you. in peace our ends of pain will so threaten the name if we climb through our doubts we can sing of course not mm -hmm. watch your tongue mm -hmm. ah, maker mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Your Holiness. Now, Artigan, as to your concerns... The Inquisition established an armed presence in Ferelden territory. You outright seized Caer Bronach in Crestwood. Our goal was to keep more Ferelden citizens from dying, not to seize power. Your help was appreciated two years ago, Inquisitor. Now order has been restored, yet you remain. Invading under pretext of restoring order is exactly what the Grey Wardens did to us centuries ago, and we exiled them. Now the Inquisition is doing the same thing with Grey Wardens in their ranks. Your concern is ill-founded. The Grey Wardens have proven their worth time and again. Of course Orle tolerates the Inquisition's interference. I suspect whenever Gaspard complains, Lady Briala tugs on his leash. Rest assured, Tegan, the Empire of Orle will not stand idle if the Inquisition oversteps its bounds. Unlike Ferelden, however, Orle understands that these were the well-intentioned mistakes of a young organization. An organization in need of a guiding hand. Yours, no doubt. Pardon me, Inquisitor. Divine Victoria wishes to speak with you, in private. The Divine Victoria? Who is sitting just up there? Yes, and who was once your spy master. It's a pressing matter, your worship. My apologies. An urgent matter has come to my attention. Ambassador Montillier, can you handle this for a short while? I... of course, Inquisitor. This is highly irregular. Perhaps it would be best if we took a short recess. The guard said we should both see this. I believe she was correct. A canary warrior in full armor. How did he get into the Winter Palace? So what would the left hand of the Divine see when she looked at this?